Thank you, Comrade Chairman. Good evening, Rural South. We bring greetings from St. George. And I'm here tonight representing the constituency of St. George. I'm the candidate for the Antigua Barbuda True Labour Party. And I'm here to endorse Veerbird 100%. And you know why? Because Rural South has been the most loyal constituency in Antigua Barbuda. And also, they don't take nonsense from anyone. You put Winston William there. He did nothing for you. You put Tico Lake there. What has he done? He went in hiding for five long years. And all of a sudden, because it's election time, he's around every nook and cranny in St. John's rural south trying to strum up vote. But, Tico, I have news for you. The people in rural south have said to me that you can't get one of their vote this election. They want fear. And let me tell you something about Veer Conwell Bird. This man, even though he's not the representative of the area, has been helping the people of Rural South. This man is a qualified lawyer that is practicing. He also has a degree in government and politics. What has Stiko brought? to the fourth and I'm asking you tonight to examine also Benjamin, Dr. Benjamin that they're bringing right now you know what they want to try and y'all they want to say okay Winston William did not do anything for y'all and we know that y'all don't want him so we are bringing Dr. Benjamin well let me send a message to Dr. Benjamin tonight it is time for you to bring out a white flag and wave it. You must wave that white flag and surrender immediately and retreat back to your doctor office because Fear Bird will be winning that seat in rural south. I'm saying to you, I don't know from under what stone Tico has called. But let me tell you something. Fear is on the scene right now. And he has been helping the constituency in legal battles. In court, some of you know that your children may be sent to prison because of the Manchester Court of Procedures Act for spliff. And he has been doing a number of bail application for your children in this area. What has Tico been doing for the last five years? You have put him to power. Absolutely nothing. And what I want to challenge each and every constituent here tonight is that you should compare the three candidates that are up to run in St. John's Rural South. You have Dr. Benjamin, you have Tico, and you have here, Conwall Bird. Examine them. And I'm telling you that you as a constituent, see, need to put via to Parliament to look into your business. He is the third and best option and more so the only option of hope in St. John's rural south. The only option of hope. You may say we only have five candidates. We have had a number of people who running coming to us think that they can run on our ticket. No, maybe the other people sending them to make us look like joke. 
But if it's the Fantastic Five we are left with going to the election, that is the five we will go to the election with. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you tonight, do not allow this opportunity to pass you by. They may tell you, oh, we can't form a government, but yes, we can. Yes, we can, and I'm going to tell you how, how we can. We can form a coalition government here in Antigua Barbuda, and that's what Antigua is crying out for. And you need to be informed as, as to how this government can be formed in Antigua and Barbuda. And at the moment, we have one presently. What we want to do is strengthen it. Now, you have, and you may not know, that's why you need to be informed. There are two parties that run in Antigua and Barbuda right now that forms the government. I'm saying to you, you have the BPM, the Barbuda People's Movement, which is Trevor Walker. Other members can apply and run on the ticket from this side of the island. And I'm saying to you further, he holds one of the biggest ministries in Antigua and Barbuda. And look at it, how we can, you can make a difference in Antigua and Barbuda. If no one commands majority of the house, it takes nine members of a political party to command majority. If no one commands majority, then they have to come to the negotiation table and form a coalition government. So don't let nobody fool you. Talking about five candidates can't run government. We can make a difference. We can stop certain unlawful bills. We can stop certain bills that is not good for the people of Antigua and Barbuda from going to parliament by voting against them. Once they are on fear, we can vote against them and they will have to make amendments until they suit the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Right now you have to show collective responsibility in parliament, which is not good. You need to be informed. If you are a political party in the cabinet, you can disagree on a particular bill. But when you go to parliament to debate that bill, you must show collective responsibility. You must side with your party. And I'm saying to you tonight, once Antigua gets a coalition government, collective responsibility will no longer be. We would have a more objective debate in parliament and we will get the right bills to go forth that needs to go forth and that is beneficial to the, all citizens of Antigua and Barbuda. So I'm calling upon you not to go with the popular saying, oh, it's either red or blue in Antigua and Barbuda. You need to examine the candidates that are running and the candidates that are before you. Not you say, oh, if a frog won for the Antigua Labour Party, you're going to vote for that frog because you're Labour. And that if a dog won for the UPP, you're going to run and vote for that dog because it's running on the UPP ticket. You're either red or blue. That is not politics. You need to weigh out the issues, plans and proposals that the candidate is bringing to the area and endorse that candidate at the next general election. And I'm saying to you, you need to go down with Tico and rise up in the St. John's rural south constituency with Via Conwalberg. The man is a loyal man. Many of you know his father, Viabert Jr. And that man, you all know him. And he was a caring and loving representative. And even though the Labour Party tried to sabotage him and did not bring that one project in rural south, St. John's rural south, this man went to his, in his pocket to look after his people in St. John's rural south. This man went into his personal money to look after you in rural south. Veer Bird Jr. was a caring representative. And what I'm saying to you tonight,
that is who I'm presenting to you. One of his offspring, Veer Bird the third, which is Veer Cornwall Bird. And I'm saying to you, is the same genes and the same quality. So you need to put Veer Bird to Parliament to look into your interests and your business. You're going to tell me that Tico was missing in action. Was missing in action for five long years. And all of a sudden, this man is showing up himself, seeking your votes for election. I'm saying to you, you have dismissed Winston William, and it's time to dismiss Tico Lake and vote via Cornwall Board for, as your representative in Parliament come to this 2014 general election. Don't be fooled. Don't be blindfolded. Fear Cornwall Bird is the man for St. John Sewell South. So without hesitation, when you go to the poll, just look for Fear Cornwall Bird or the true labor symbol and place your X right in that box. Make no hesitation in doing so. And you will see the difference in Antigua and Barbuda and more so the constituency of St. John Sewell South. Enough is enough. Enough is enough, man. Now, I'm saying to you, we have the Ragtag Queen in St. George. And let me tell you something. She can beat Dalso in St. George. Dean is not worthy. Dean is a crook. And let me tell you something. I'm going to play a clip to let you know how Jackie refer to the people of St. George. I want you to play clip number seven on that same CD so the people can hear Jackie Quinn can never win another seat in St. George. The people of St. George will dismiss her. And I'm going to ask you the DJ, listen to what Jackie Quinn said about the, the people PDP of St. John. campaigned on the promise of putting people first, the promise was always a big lie. Minister Jackie Quinn Leandro has been the chief Can't win of nothing in St. George! The people first empty promise. Within days of the UPP assuming office, workers were victimized and sent home. Highly trained teachers, nurses, police officers, I and want you to listen carefully. Watch how Jackie refer to the people the in St. George, could be the pensioners on, who work for the money in an atmosphere. Although the members of the UPP government campaigned on a promise of putting people with first, the St. promise George. was always a big lie. Minister Jackie Quinn Leandro has been the chief architect of the destruction of the people first empty promise. Within days of the UPP assuming office, workers were victimized and sent home. Highly trained teachers, nurses, police officers, and experienced civil servants were given voluntary separation packages against a threat that separation could be forced on them and allowed to languish in an atmosphere of UPP deceit, disappointment, and disillusionment. Minister Jackie Quinn added a final insult when she referred to retirees peacefully protesting the non-payment of their pensions in a most degrading manner. My office was picketed yeah. on Thursday the 13th of March 2006 yeah. by a ragtag group of picketers ragtag who had placards all kind of placards in red and white which read who else must die several of the persons interviewed including Mr. Wiggly George the general secretary of the Antigua Trades and Labor Union this UPP ministerial arrogance has no place in our country for another five years. We Can you imagine pensioners that has worked 
hard for their money. Pensioners that have worked hard for their money were referred to as ragtags. What a shame. And I'm saying to you, she can't come in New Inch of St. Vans Hill and show her face this election. It will be dance all the way to victory. And let me tell you something also. I'm saying to you also, I'm not ready to touch him yet, but I will touch him shortly. Jackie Quinn, I'm telling you, you need to wave the white flag also. You need to surrender because Dalso is coming and you're going to feel the full blunt of Dalso. I'm saying to you, you will. How can we left the clinic because the clinic was deemed in Barnes Hill unfit for human to enter and they say that clinic building structure was to be demolished it should have been demolished that's what they say in Barnes Hill and within five working days five working days Jackie Quinn had that building repaired and turned into a community center that building was repaired and turned into a community center so what I'm saying in other words we didn't have any right to go to clear all clinic in the first place what a big gimmick what a big lie and I'm saying to you tonight the people of St. George will not accept that lie we must institute disciplinary action and our disciplinary action in the St. George constituency is to dismiss Jackie from office instantly come 2014 general elections. Yes, 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 yes. And let me tell you something also, Dean don't pose any threat. He is the least like politician in Antigua and Barbuda. And let me tell you something further, that Dean can't make it. He's inconsistent. Another turn court. And I want my DJ right here to play number 10. I want him to play number 10 so you all can hear for yourself that Dean Judas is not. The Antigua Labour Party and the Listabird government are a corrupt government. They're corrupt individuals. And we cannot be seen to be engaging them in any way whatsoever because of what they have done to the people Play of Antigua and Barbuda. Play it again. Let them hear. Dean said that. Dean. And he's saying that they're good all of a sudden. Come on. The Antigua Labour Party and the Listabird government are a corrupt government. They're corrupt individuals. And we cannot be seen to be engaging them in any way whatsoever because of what they have done to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you. So you see, let us be informed that we are the third and best option for Antigua as a political party. And I'm telling you, don't be dismayed and do not follow what the people are saying is either UPP or ALP. You need to be informed. A coalition government can be formed in Antigua. One is running Antigua right now, the BPM and the UPP. And we can strengthen that. And I'm asking you to support all our candidates wherever they are running. Support them because we will bring meaningful change to Antigua and Barbuda and more so our constituencies. I'm saying to you, St. George has been long neglected and we can't vote for Jackie again in St. George. If we would ever go back to the poll and vote for Jackie again, we would be narrow-minded, nothing less, nothing more. What has she done? Absolutely not one thing. And I'm saying to you, Dalso will be the next representative in that constituency because I will not surrender and I will not retreat. That's right, that's right. And I don't matter, it doesn't matter what my detractors will say. They must beat me in the ballot box. The ballot box. Dalso will not retreat and I will not surrender. That's right, that's True labor is the way to go this election. It's not about 
who's showing up at the meeting in crowd and masses. It's about meaningful change. It's about plans and proposals for the constituency. So it's not who is red or blue. We are the third and best option as a political party here in Antigua. The Antigua Barbu, the true Labour Party. I'm saying to you, if you would go to the poll and vote for Tico again, you will lose. You vote for Benjamin, you lose. You vote for Via Conwell Bird, you will win. Win, win, win in this constituency. And as he comes tonight, you will hear his plans and proposal, and you will hear how rural South has been neglected. You will further hear truth of the corruption that has been plaguing Antigua in both the two major political parties. I'm saying to you, if you're a vagabond and the Antigua Labour Party, people applaud you and you're the best thing ever. You are vagabond on the UPP. They applaud you. You are the best thing ever. We have decent young men and women running on our ticket. And that's why you should consider us. No baggage. No baggage you bring. True labor is the way to go. And you need to be informed. Antigua can run by a coalition government. And one is presently running Antigua today. The BPM and the UPP. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. True Labour, the third and best option for Antigua and Barbuda. Time to end this cronyism. Time for decent representation. And I'm saying to you, that's what we bring to the fort. Quality representation. Representation of good reports and character. So let's not be fooled. Let's not be dismayed. Hope is on the way. Better standard of living for St. John's School South is on the way. Better standard of living. I'm sure some of you Know that your children, how you have to struggle with them. And our policy is to bring jobs to the, to the young men and women in Antigua Barbuda. The two major political parties, listen good. One say, 500 homes in 500 days. I want you to listen good. You just don't look to see if 500 homes can be in 500 days. That's not it. You don't look in front of the hill. You go on top of the hill and look behind and see what is behind here. Now listen to me good. You examine the complexity of that statement and that notion. If you get 500 homes in 500 days, that is only work for one and a half years. Who will absorb you after that one and a half year when the work has been finished? You tell me, when the work has finished, who will employ you? Where that mass of unemployed people will go to find jobs? It's not sustainable. Now come back again. The set of homes will be 440,000 in that area. If you go to the banks, do your own survey. That's why you need to be informed. $140,000 can be for poor people. Can be for poor people. Because if you go to the bank, and each and every bank in Antigua, they will tell you that a mortgage on a $140,000 loan is about $1,500. The minimum. And I'm saying to you, poor people in this country are working for two fifty dollars a week in some of the stores. So you're talking about a thousand dollars monthly. The bank even won't approve you. You would not even get approval because I'm saying to you, the bank must see that you have money to pay your utility bills. You must have money to buy food to put on your table. And once they see you can't do that, you will be disapproved. So who, how you're gonna pay? How these homes will be for poor people? 
We are saying that if that ever happened, it will be 500 foreclosures in 600 days. Let me tell you something further. The UPP talks about citizen by investment program. And as when 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 Veer comes tonight, he will highlight the lands that that, that are proposed for the citizen by investment program. You see, we need to be informed because we are the party that means go to Antigua and Barbuda. The Antigua Barbuda True Labour Party. Now they the, in the UPP say citizen by investment program. Now, listen to the problem with that. And the other two parties, and it's a shame that Antigua Labour Party not even highlighting this. But I want you to listen. All those who are in the ambit of my voice, you must listen carefully. Because it's very bad. Now, we must love our CARICOM nationals. We must love them. And I'm going to tell you why. They are here for seven long years. And they are contributing to the system, the social and medical benefit scheme. And you're talking about social security, they're contributing. They're paying education levy. They're also renting homes from Antiguans. They're also supporting the local supermarket. And listen to me good. They're here for seven long years. And when they apply for the citizenship, you know what they're saying? If you have a gap for two months, just let's say, you have a gap that you didn't pay for two months. You have to start all over again. Although you have contributed to the system for the seven years. And the non-nationals, the non-national, we are saying the CARICOM nationals, our brothers and sisters, they should not be treated like that. No, a man can come tomorrow in Antigua with his 250,000 US dollars. He can purchase Antigua and Barbuda the passport and enjoy the privileges of like an Antiguan and Barbuda. He will not need the expatriate certificate to purchase land. You understand? The permit. He will not need that. And you will hear tonight from VIA the proposed land for the, the citizen by investment program. So you see, a man can come tomorrow from nowhere. We don't know if he's a terrorist or whatever. And he can buy Antigua Barbuda the passport for 250,000 US dollars because he is rich. Yeah. But a young man or woman from a Calcom country that has come to Antigua, that has worked tirelessly, paid her contributions, and made her contributions to Antigua and Barbuda, and she can be turned down because, or he can be turned down because of a gap of two months. Two months out of seven years, and he had or she has to start all over again. It is unfair. We are saying in True Labour Party, bring back. We are saying in True Labour Party, bring back manufacturing, bring back light manufacturing, and we, you will hear more about the type of manufacturing we want to bring back as your. Representative in waiting, come to speak to you tonight. You will hear more about the type of manufacturing. We want to have a referendum also on the legalization of marijuana. And you will hear in detail how it will be regulated in Antigua and Barbuda. We can pay off our debt. And we are saying in manufacturing, when we bring back the factory, that will be sustainable job. You can work your way right up to management. You will have your job, you will go through probation, you will work, and you can work your way right up to management. So it's a sustainable job. This notion of 500 homes in 500 days is only work for a year and a half. Work it out and you see. So you see, True Labour is here to inform you. And I'm telling you, when the ballots would have been counted, in the five areas we are running, you will see that Fear Cornwall Bird will be victorious in rural south. You will see Kelton Dalso being victorious in St. George. Charlene Samuel, our political leader, the first woman political leader in the history of Antigua and Barbuda, will bring her seat home to the true Antigua and Barbuda True Labour Party. And Gregory Attil of St. Paul will beat 
number and chat in that constituency. They have no plans and program. And without, last but not least, in All Saints West, Shanla and Brown does that. Shanla and Brown do not deserve your vote. Vote Tate and Samuel all the way. He will be coming home when the ballot would have been counted. So, good night until I come again. This is Nelson from the constituency of St. George that will be putting a beating on Dean and Jackie. Good night. Good night, rules out. You're not alone. Live I'll be right there for you. You're not alone. Live I'll be right there for you.